Will her aunt drive Betty Lou crazy? Find out this and a whole lot more coming up next on Kids Like You. to Kids Like You. Haven't we found a beautiful spot for today's show? We're coming to you from Sillamore, Arkansas. Have you ever heard of that? Well, it's a beautiful place your parents might want to visit sometime if you ever get a chance to take a little vacation in Arkansas. Arkansas is full of beautiful places. You have to come and see us sometime. So we're in Sillamore today and we're going to bring you a beautiful episode of Kids Like You. You know, we're talking about choices. I know you hear your parents tell you a lot of things that you're supposed to do, but did you know you're the one that chooses whether or not you're going to do that? You choose whether or not you're going to obey. You choose whether or not you're going to do well in school. You choose whether or not you want to participate in sports. You make choices all day long, like what shirt you're going to wear, what socks you want to wear. You make choices all day long. Well, God wants you to make good spiritual choices. He wants you to choose His Word over believing the lies of the devil. He wants you to choose good friends over you know, picking friends that will not influence you for good. You've got lots of good choices to make, boys and girls. And one thing God will prove to you over and over, you might not be able to change the way your past has been, but you can sure change your future. You can change it starting today by making good choices. Well, I believe Boxcar Billy and Jailhouse Joe are making a few choices today. Let's look in on them and see what they're doing. Hey, give me a bottle. Give me a one. Which one do you want to choose? I want the blue one. I want the blue one. I want it. Okay, you choose the blue, I choose the old sissy pink bowl. Well, so I get to choose my cereal first. What do you want? I want what prizes are in there. Well, this one's got a, uh, ooh, this one's got an airplane. I choose this one. Hey, I want that one. You get that one. It's got a win, lose, or draw game in it. No. I, yeah, well, that's the one you get to choose. Hey, I want that one. I got it first. Oh, I'm taking this one. Ooh, wow. Mm. I wish I'd have chose that. Can I? Hey, you're supposed to put the milk in before you put the cereal. No, you're not. It makes you soggy. No, you're not. You're and supposed I to spill it all hey, over me. You're supposed to look, let me put my milk in. Before Give me you that. that. You put the milk no, in before you, you put, put the cereal in first. Oh, you're gonna ruin it. No, I'm not gonna ruin nothing. You go you away. Don't, you don't know how to make the right choices. You choose the the cereal before the milk, and now it's gonna get soggy quicker. I know how to make better choices than you do. No, you don't. You chose the blue bowl, and I got stuck with the pink one. Every red-blooded American puts their cereal in before their milk. That's because they don't know what they're doing. That's why. That is absolutely the right choice. It is not. You... Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg did. Shopping! Absolutely, and then of course we've got to get a bite to eat lunch, you know, and just do a little running around. 
Okay, Aunt Stella. Uh, bye, bye, dear. Bye. Phew. I'll get it. I'll get it. Vivi Lou. Hi, Aunt Stella. Uh, hello, darling. How are you, really? Are you ready to go shopping with Aunt Stella? Yeah. Oh, great. I thought actually what we could do is perhaps buy you new pair of blue jeans or some play clothes. Oh. I know we'll get you a beautiful new dress. Well, no, not a dress. Let's get you some pajamas. Well, whatever it is, we're going to get you some. Then I thought perhaps we could do, after a little shopping, of course, we could get something to eat. Perhaps a little Chinese. Oh, no, spaghetti. How about some Mexican food? Well, whatever we decide, we'll get some lunch. And what? Anyway, let's get in the car. We're wasting daylight. We'll just think of something to do. We'll make it up as we go. Oh, I hope Aunt Stella doesn't drive me crazy. Coming on, Betty Lou. Coming. <laughs> Well, Betty Lou, what do you think, girl? We've been shoving all, oh, absolutely all morning. Have you found anything yet, yeah? Well, no, well, what do you think about this blouse? You like it? Oh, I can't seem to decide. It's just a little bit snug, but, you know, it does look great with your hair. Well, well what about that blue jean dress right there? Do you like well, it? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I think it's really cute, but, you know, those things are really not in style anymore. But on the oh. other hand, I really like it. I really, really like it. But I don't know if well, it's you or not. Oh, uh, what I about just... that scarf over there? That would be real cute. Well, I don't know, dear. I, I just can't seem to make a decision, you know? Everything looks oh. so good on you, and I just... How about if we go for some lunch? So we can't make a decision in the store. How about a bit of lunch? And then we can well. come back and make some decisions. Perhaps then, maybe if I eat a little bit, then I'd feel more like making a decision. Now, what shall we have to eat? I wonder if we should have well. Mexican food or some Chinese food or some white well. food. Well, okay, oh. I'll go take this blouse off. Oh. Okay, perhaps after some lunch we could decide then. Oh, well, let me go check over here. Now, where have I left oh, that hat? Oh, brother, Ooh. she can't ever make a decision. Oh, here it is, right here, of course. Let's I'm go going to the dressing room now. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> wow, Betty Lou, your Aunt Stella sounds like quite a character. Oh, she is. She can't ever make a decision. I mean, we she don't know what store to go to. She doesn't know where we're going to eat. And I try on <laughs> one blouse. And she says, no, well, I don't know. And on and on and on she goes. <laughs> that nearly, sounds funny. Yeah, she nearly drove me bananas. Betty Lou. Oh, Betty Lou. See you, Betty Lou. Hi, Patty Sue. Hi, Betty Lou. Listen, I have a bone to pick with you. What? Well, I've kept records for the last six months. And you owe me a grand total of $3.47 for money you've borrowed oh. for Cokes and potato chips and Snickers bars and all kinds of stuff. And I demand that you pay up now. Well, I, I don't have that money, Patty Sue. Well, you'll have to get it. I don't care what you have to do to get it, well, but I need my money now. But, but Patty Sue, I don't have any money to give you. I, I'll do my best to get it as soon as I can. Look, Betty Lou, I need my money. I loaned it to you in good faith, and it's time for you to pay up. Now, back there in the teacher's desk, there's a money box. You know it, and I know it. Just go in there and steal some money and pay me my $3.47. Now, I'll give you till Tuesday. Pay up or else. Oh, no. What am I going to do now? Oh, I don't have the money. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh. Well, Gabby, it's your good thing you came in today. You need a haircut or something. Well, I know. Listen, I was talking to my mom, and I'm trying to make a decision about what to do with my hair. Yeah, well, you need to do something with it, girl. It looks pretty bad. Well, what do you think we ought to do to it? Well, your I'm, bangs. Maybe we could curl your bangs, or maybe yeah. we could uh, okay. braid your hair. Oh, I've got the latest thing. Hey, let me show you. Come I had here. Ooh, oh, look at this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh. oh it's no, you. No, what a, no, it's not. I look like my bangs are all flat. Well, is it pinching your head? It kind of looks You're like it's pinching me your a head. Headache. Well, let's try something else okay. then. How about well, a else? big old bow? A big old bow. Uh, like pink. How do you like that? We could it, curl your bangs. Well, oh, but it honey. makes me look like oh. I'm three years old. Well, let's see. Let me I, look. How what about, if we did a French braid? Well, we could do a French braid. How about a I, how about a head headband? Uh, oh no, that looks like that's <laughs> in your head it too. It is, and it's in my mouth too. Oh gosh. Well, well, how about if I well, curl your bangs and well, I um, can't perm your hair, honey? How about a perm? Uh, well, a perm. A perm. But but will it be 
frizzy like yours? Excuse me, honey? I mean, I'm sorry. Um, um, well, I what if we did know. it just a little way? I just want you to know people come from all over the world to get their hair done like mine. I know, beautician. I'm just Honestly. kidding. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Well, well, what if we cut my hair? Oh, I don't know. Your mama's liable to tan me if well, I cut your yeah, hair. Yeah, I don't think I really want to cut anyway. No, it wouldn't be you, Gabby. Well, here, try something. Well, how about, let me, let me see. Let me get out well, my curling what iron else? here. Oh, okay. Hold Do still. I need to turn around? No, you just need to hold still. Okay. I can't curl your hair. I'm going to curl your eyelashes. Hard. Don't burn my head. I'll try not to. Okay. I'm good at this. Don't you but, know I've been to beauty school? Well, but beautician, now they're all sticking up. I don't That's know if I like that. Thing. Don't you know? But I tell you, you need to hurry up and make up your mind what you want. You gotta make a choice in life. Don't you know that? Well, Beautisha, I do a lot of choice making, you know, every day. And I choose yeah. to make my bed and choose good friends. And, you know, I don't want to have bad friends, you know. Well, I don't want you to either, girl. They can get you in lots of trouble. Don't you know that? You know, you choose every day. There, you yeah. always make lots of choices. I know it. And yeah, yeah right now, yeah. I think I need to make, to make a choice and choose a new do. Well, I think you do, too. You know, well, you choose to obey. You choose to disobey. You can choose to lie. And we don't want to choose that line. No. You can choose choose not to lie, and you can choose life, God's yeah. word. Okay, well, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to choose to, You're for you to braid me. my hair. Braid your hair? Yeah. How about, I'll tell you what, I need to spray, spray the bangs. It. Okay. I like to make good choices. Oh, yeah, they're going to yeah. be really nice. Hey, boys and girls, guess what? It's time to choose. Every one of us has got to make choices every single day hundreds and hundreds and maybe even thousands of choices that we have to choose every single day you and me everybody's got to make choices why you know even jesus had to make choices he had to choose to die on that cross for you and me and i'm glad that that he made the right choice i'm glad that he chose to to die for my sins and forgive me of all my sins aren't you well, boys and girls, what time is it? It's time to choose. Do you feel like people are picking on you? Well, that's something that you can't do. What? I once did like the others around, and trouble was all I ever found. I didn't listen or learn God's word. I acted on things that I had heard. If someone said, it's a thing to do, I rushed right out, and I did it too. It's time to choose. Oh, yeah, choose. Choose. <laughs> I had eyes, but I didn't see. Taking a friend's advice wasn't for me. Jesus set the example for one and all. So unstop your ears and hear his call. Open your heart, invite Jesus inside. He'll come in and there will abide. You'll be happy and have peace too. As Jesus tells you what you should do, it's time to choose. Oh yeah, choose. <laughs> All right, choose. And things getting worse, this, my friend, is the devil's curse. Yeah. When you obey Jesus, you never go wrong. And in your heart, he puts a new song. It's time to choose between evil and good. Stop doing things the way that you should. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. Walk with him and you'll be all right. It's time to choose. Oh, yeah, choose. It's time to choose. Come on, come on. You better choose him. Don't refuse him. You just might lose him. Do you feel like people are picking on you? Well, there's something that you can't do. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Hey, hey. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. All right. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Oh, yeah. Choose Jesus. Choose life, oh yeah, choose Jesus. Choose Jesus. Choose life, oh yeah, choose Jesus. Choose life, oh yeah, choose Jesus. Choose life, oh yeah, J-E-S-U-S. I sure would like to be the mother just one day, Marcy complained as she went about doing her chores. Grown-ups sure do have it made. Each time her mother had asked her to do something, Marcy had made a face and griped about it. 
Mom, I'm finished, Marcy yelled, placing the broom in the closet. Can I go outside and play now? Maybe, her mother replied, after I have a little talk with you. Oh, great, another lecture, Marcy thought angrily as she walked into the kitchen. Just once, just once, I'd like to be the mother, she thought again. Marcy sat slumped in a chair across from her mom and waited. Marcy, sit up straight, get that look off your face, and listen to me. Yes, ma'am, Marcy sat up straight and got rid of the pout. Mom looked at Marcy thoughtfully. Marcy, I know that there are times when you think I'm being rough on you, but did you know that it's my job as a parent to teach you things? She picked up her Bible and held it in her lap. I use the Word of God as my guidebook for teaching you. It says in here the word for you is to obey your parents in the Lord. If you will do so, you will live a long life. She turned to Proverbs 22, 6 and read it to Marcy. It says here to us as parents to train up our children in the way they should go and that when they are old, they will not depart from it. Do you know that I show love for you by teaching you to do things? How will you learn if I don't teach you? Marcy felt so ashamed. As mother spoke, Marcy could see that she was right. She felt the Holy Spirit tap her on the inside that she had been saddening him by her attitude toward mom. Mom's words stung in her heart. She took a deep breath and let go of the anger against mom. How she knew it was her turn to speak. Mom, I've acted pretty bad. Will you forgive me? Mom gave Marcy a great big smile. Yes, dear, I surely do. Did this little talk help you? Yes, ma'am, and I know you're right. Marcy smiled back. Just remember, I want what is best for you, and God's way is best, okay? Okay, answered Marcy, feeling much better now. You may go out and play. Marcy gave her mom a big, big hug just before she went out the door. Listen, Betty Lou, I've been listening to you lately, and all you've been doing is talking about how silly and funny your Aunt Stella is because she can never make a decision, and she can never make up her mind. That's right. And while those thoughts were coming into your head, you were doing the same thing. You were never making up your mind to act on the Word of God and to make a good choice. When you know God's Word, you've got to make a choice for it. 
I know. Oh, I feel really bad. I should have never done those things. I knew what was right. Well, just don't be like Aunt Stella anymore. Learn to make a choice. I will. The right choice. I will. Come on. Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place just for you. Whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do. If you love me, keep my commandments true. I will pray to my Father to send the Comforter. Abide in you. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes before my Father but by me. You've got to abide in me, and you'll see the light. You'll see the light. You'll see the light. I'm glad I chose this time. I'm Just glad I bit. chose this time. Let's got right here. It's got a little fruity marshmallows floating in there. See them? Yeah, I see them. My favorite one is the banana colored one. You like those? Yeah, it well, tastes real good. Well, then you made a good choice, but you know what? There's more important choices than what kind of cereal that you eat. There are? Yeah, and what more important than what kind of bowl that you get or what kind of prize you choose. I got a good prize, but they're bigger choices. That's right. Like, like, uh, like what kind of friends you have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you got a real good friend. That's right. Me. Yeah, you. And you I, hung around with some real goofy friends before that. Yeah. Hobos in the junkyard and stuff. Mean yeah. characters. They wasn't nice, was they? No. Remember that one that banged you over the head with a skillet to take your money? Yeah. Yeah. Kids, you can choose either bad friends or choose good friends. And you know what? The choice is yours. There's all kind of choices that you can make, isn't it, Joe? Yeah. Like the kind of cereal you take. Yeah, but important stuff. Like getting up early in the morning to read your Bible like I do. That's right. You do that every day, don't you? I get up at 4.35 every morning. Yep. When that alarm clock goes off, you can either choose to lay there and go back to sleep or choose to get up and read your Bible. That's you? right. I even get up before the rooster crows. You do? Yeah, the rooster don't crow till about 6. 
Wow. And I'm, I'm already through reading my Bible by the time the rooster crows. That's right. And you know, you can choose to pray or not to pray too. So that's an important choice you can make. I prayed for you to ask Jesus in your heart and, and God answered my prayer and you did. That's right. You know what? That's the most important choice I ever made. Oh, maybe we ought to ask the boys and girls if they wanted to, to pray that prayer, do you think? And make that choice? Because maybe some of them haven't done that yet. Have y'all not done that yet, boys and girls? You haven't. You need to ask Jesus in your heart. That's the most important choice you could ever make, boys and girls. Let's pray with you. You go boys. ahead. All right. Boys and girls, if you want to choose to ask Jesus in your heart, just pray this prayer after me. Say, Father, Father, I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is your son. Is your son. That he died on the cross. That he died on the cross. For all my sins. For all my sins. I ask him. I ask him into my heart. Into my heart. Right now. Right now. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my heart, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know there were some that prayed that out they, there. They did. Some of you boys and girls prayed that prayer, and you made the most important choice in your whole life. Yeah. Make the right choices, boys and girls, with your friends, with reading. The reading the Bible? Yeah. And praying? And praying. And, oh, i got to finish this. It's getting soggy. Yeah. He's going to finish his cereal. Make the right choices, boys and girls. Can I drink it out of the bowl? Thank you, Jailhouse Joe and Boxcar Billy. Maybe next time your choices won't be so difficult to make. I hope you prayed that prayer with Boxcar Billy and made the choice today to ask Jesus into your heart. Be sure and write us a letter if you have done that. We'd love to know. We pray over our kids like you, Mel. We pray over those boys and girls and their parents who have written in. And we want to pray for you, so be sure and write us. And tell us how you're enjoying kids like you. Tell us what kind of things you need for us to talk about. And we'll be happy to get the puppets together and Jailhouse Joe and Boxcar Billy. We want to help you make good choices. And remember, you choose to obey. You choose to serve God. You choose whether or not you're going to be a success. Jesus died and rose from the dead so you could be a success. So the work is already done. Now you choose to make it work in your life. We'll see you next time because we really love kids like you. Bye-bye. for joining us today for this exciting edition of Kids Like You. Tune in again, same time, same channel. If you're enjoying the program, then drop us a line at Kids Like You, P.O. Box 22007, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72221. Okay, you're going to do it now, aren't you? That's P.O. Box 22007, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72221. We're going to be looking for your letter, so do it today. Miss Kathy, me, and the whole crew will be looking for you next time on Kids Like You. <laughs>